If anyone would like one of my own J3 Android TV boxes, make sure to visit jm85.co.uk. Android TV made easy. Hello everyone, Jason here, and I hope you're all doing absolutely fantastic today. So today's video, it's about this add-on here called Aptoid. It's a very popular Android app, but now it has been brought to the Cozy community. This app will enable you to download all the latest and greatest Android apps very easily straight onto your Android device. If you would like to keep up to date with all the best ways to get free TV and everything that's happening in the streaming community, then make sure to hit that subscribe button below. When you're actually in the app, you've got most popular games, and the, the one I go to the most would be applications. We're not, not really interested in downloading games on our Android TV, which is what I mainly use Kodi on. So once we're inside, you, you get different categories once you click on applications. And the one that I tend to go to the most is entertainment. So click on that and then this will open. It'll give you all the most popular apps for Android where you can just click on them and install all of these. For example, there was Terrarian TV a bit further up there. But if I just click on Free Flicks HQ, so I've decided I want this app now. I then click on it and then I click on where it says Install App. And that will install the app straight to the box. If you scroll further down, you can see what you do get included. The likes of Popcorn Time and a few others that you may recognise. If I just go back though, as well as that. Let me just go back. As well as the applications, we've got a search. So if you can't find what you're looking for, there's a great app out there. Then if you come to here and you can just search for what you want. So for example, if I look... If I'm looking for Terrarium TV, I'd just come to search, type in Terrarium TV, and then click on this OK button. It'll then search for any apps called Terrarium TV. And then the one we're after is the one at the top. It's the version 1.9.9. That's the latest one at the minute. So if you click on there, you get two options, download app or install app. And if you want to use this straight away, you need to click on install app, and that'll prompt you, and then you can install that app very easily. So if I just go back now, and then you can see the most popular sections we're going to use there is applications and search. If you want this app on your box, then you need to go back to the beginning of your Kodi and click on the cog in the top left hand corner just there. You're going to click on that cog and then click on file manager. From here, you're then going to click on add source. Click on this box here where it says none. And then you want to enter this exactly the way that you see it here, which is http colon forward slash forward slash gen dash tech dot co forward slash gen tech whiz. Pause it here if you need to, but you want that exactly the same. Once you've done that, press OK. And then underneath it, it automatically calls it gen tech whiz. We don't need to change that. So we just click on this button here to save it. From there, you'll then see gen tech whiz in your list. But you just press back twice. You then click on add-ons on the left-hand side. Go to the box in the top left-hand corner. And then click on install from zip file. From here, you're going to look for Gentech Wiz. So click on that. Click on new repo for Gentech Wizard. And then click on repository Gentech. Just wait for the little notification in the top right-hand corner. Once you've seen that, you can then click on install from repository Click on Gentech Repository. Go down to Video Add-ons. And then you'll see Aptoid for Kodi in the list. Click on there. And then click on where it says Install in the bottom right-hand corner. We will have to do a little bit more setting up when we first open Aptoid. So that's not just finished yet. When you first done that and you go back to Video Add-ons, you're going to click on Aptoid and then you're going to get this appear. It says, please set up a download location first. So this is where it's going to save all of the add-ons or all of the apps that you download. So press OK. And then you need to click on download location. So this is where we're going to save them. So in my case, we're going to save it to external storage. If you see that option, click on that. And then you get a list, something like this appear, but we're looking for download and then that'll save into my download folder each time. So click on download. Once you've done that, you don't have to click on anything else. Once you've clicked on download, apart from this OK button over here, 
click on that and then that is set to always save these applications into downloads press ok and then you're done it's not essential that you save it into your downloads you can save it to other places as well but for me downloads is where i want to save it once you've done that it's all up and running when you click on an app it'll automatically install and that's about it don't forget if you do want to keep up to date with everything that's happening in the streaming world then make sure to hit that subscribe button below i'm jason thanks for watching till next time peace out and i'll see you all later ta-da